Yeah, because I mean, I'd say building an in-house team in a corporate company is still really new. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of the biggest things is between having an in-house team that can do like end-to-end -end production, mm -hmm. everything from concept creative to post and finalization, is you're not looked at the same as a vendor because you don't have you don't have a PO. You don't have this monetary exchange mm -hmm. between you where when you hire a vendor production company, it's like, okay, I've paid them X amount to do X amount of money. Mm -hmm. And like, this is my goal is to, you know, make sure that that all like happens. Right. But also because I'm paying you, I feel like you're an expert. I'm going to listen to you more. Mm -hmm. Or I feel like in-house teams, not every company, but some companies yeah. aren't given that same freedom mm -hmm. or like, uh, importance to work. We That's have a group of experts yeah. who know what they're doing, right? And they're more seen as like a service than they are, say, creative minds to mm -hmm. develop freely. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I do you think that'll shift over time? It's become. I mean, I'm watching video become such an integral part of this entire. You know, all these companies' communication strategies. Yeah. Um, but I, I do think there's a a yes, there's a there's a gap between the. I'll say craft from a technical sense, the ability to edit, to shoot, and sort of where the creative producing side sort of interacts. And, mm -hmm. and you know, we've seen teams where it, it, it is just, you know, the video team could sit next to the accounting team. And it's sort of a, like clockwork, we're creating this content. I, I wouldn't say it's, it's, it's more, it's far more utilitarian and practical, not as uh, inspired or part of the marketing message. Um, so it's, it's, it, it's, I wonder how that is going to evolve over time. You're going to need, I mean, if you've got these people that are technically proficient, um, but are also storytellers, I mean, you kind of have, it's like superheroes. If you can use video really, really well, I mean, you were saying that, that Tesla could avoid spending on advertising and just use earned media with an internal video team is kind of like a testament to, and there was how many, there was what, five, eight of you? Somewhere? Between five and seven. Okay. Time. Scale up or scale down, depending on the needs. But like, yeah. you know, what, what a powerful team if given room to roam, I guess. It's interesting because because corporate's never been, I mean, the typical thing in a corporate company is we have an agency mm -hmm. and then that agency is the one that either like has in-house production resources or they're just outsourcing to whatever production company mm -hmm. may be the best fit. You know, and then that production company has directors on the roster and like we right. want to work with X director for our big ad campaign. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of that is shifting into this faster pace, lower budget content. Could that have worked at Tesla? I mean, it can work anywhere. Uh -huh. It's just- But it seems like with the, with the way you were doing and the, and the, I could see all the advantages. I wonder if, if, if it would be able to keep up with that kind of like never ending list of content to be created. That's the thing, pacing. And, and the speed, right? The pace and the Pacing the, the defines turnaround. a lot of the process. Yeah. And when you're on a quick, short term pace, mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense to outsource it. Because mm -hmm. any company you are, you have that learning curve. And the more people you bring on, the more production companies, the more vendors, mm -hmm. the more you need to educate them and mm -hmm. like make sure it's on brand. And then like if it's not, you get into this thing where you have a delayed timeline. Mm -hmm. um, it can be simple little things that can go wrong that you don't show. Like you didn't put your hands in the right place, for example. Right. Or we refer to this as this term and like the actors only spoke it this mm, way. Interesting. Agencies are better for long-term, bigger budgets in a sense because mm -hmm. they're become your partner in developing the content with you. Mm -hmm. um, and it takes like that business need to you really know, make that like the priority. Mm -hmm. And then there's other times where it's a mix. Like at Airbnb, for example, like there's multiple teams doing different creative work mm -hmm. in-house. There's multiple vendors for all those teams. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's other ad agencies doing like content as well, mm -hmm. and it's this big mixture. But when you get to be a big enough company and you have that need for content, right. it's like all avenues are going to be. So it's not a utilized. one size fits all. It's, I mean, it really matters on the type of content being created, the needs, the pace, everything yeah. should dictate your solution. Yeah.